Before I show you how I tinted my mum's eyebrows and I did my own gel nails, I just wanted to show you the Miley website and the Amazon website where I got my own Miley stuff from. Um, the website is really simple to find stuff. I found stuff quite easily. However, I did order from Amazon as it was quicker delivery at the time. Now Miley have actually got faster delivery um, because of lockdown deliveries have been going all over the place. So I just thought it'd be better to order it from Amazon. But you can get the same kits on both. The prices has gone have gone up a little bit on Miley's site, but I think it's all to do with lockdown. Obviously, businesses needed to gain more money somehow. So the first thing I found was my tinting kit that I got. I got it in um, brown, um, and that come with everything you needed. You didn't need to get anything extra no more brushes um it's, i've also got the nail kit that i got and it came with the lamp the top coat and base coat and um what else did it come with i need to just check back it came with the prep and prime and the nail remover which was really good and obviously with the pack you do save money um i then went and got one nail polish i got the lint free wipes because you do need them to prep the nails also, if you want to take them off, you might need them. Um, and also, after you've done your nails, you need them to take off the sticky outer layer. Um, I also got the um, behind the scenes, and I also got gifted by my family member um, another pack of nail polishes, which I used in today's video. The behind the scenes is a really nice grey. Um, I wore it by itself, but you can also use it as like a... Um, a background for some nails and the electric pastels are really good as well um but the behind the scenes is more of my go-to when i want some natural nail varnish um i have also on this screen recording showed you um all the bits how you can get them separately as well and i've also gone on the amazon website to f show you how to find it i found it quite easy the amazon delivery was about 4.99 and it did come next day of the day bef after which was really, really good and really quick. I do, really do recommend Amazon. Also, what I found really, really helpful on the Miley website, and they might be on the Amazon products as well, is that it comes with instructions of how to, at the bottom of the page, it has instructions of how to apply the nails, how to remove them, how to use the tint. It, it really does help because then it's step by step. And also, for the... Um, tint it shows you how to it tells you how to tint the eyebrows and the eyelashes as they are multi-purpose you can use it to tint your eyelashes as well however i wouldn't quite recommend doing it because you touch touching your eyelashes just get that done at the salon you don't really need them doing unless you know how to do it but yeah that is basically the websites and what i'm showing you it was all quick and easy to find and I do recommend Miley products as they are very professional. So yeah, I hope you found this really useful and if you have any more questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Thank you for watching and just let's get on to showing you how I did my nails and tinted my mum's eyebrows. I'm going to tint my mummy's eyebrows. <laughs> well, I haven't first, got much. This is the first time doing them. How do you feel? Are you worried? <laughs> I will put step by step how we do it, but I'm just going to <laughs> let it record and I'm not going to talk because it can go very wrong. This is the Miley Mixing Dish. This is the Miley Brow Tint in the shade Brown. This is the Miley Tint Activator. 
all we have to do to make the brow tint mixture is to take one centimeter of the brow tint into the mixing tray and put a few drops of the tint activator. You need to basically keep putting little drops in until it turns into a paste and then you'll be able to apply it to the eyebrows. The first thing you have to do is you have to apply Vaseline on the bottom of your eyebrows and on the top to prevent any of the tint stain in the skin. This is a tub of Vaseline Lip Therapy Original. I then put a layer of the brow tint onto the spoolie, quite a thick layer, and started brushing it through my Mimo's brows. This is the Miley Spoolie Tint Brush. This is another Miley Tint Brush. I then kept packing the product on to make them look really dark and really bold to make sure that the tint takes to the eyebrows. I really was a bit confused but they actually turned out okay. They were a bit lighter than what I thought they were going to be. To remove the product from the eyebrows you dampen a cotton pad and then you wipe the product off the eyebrows. So I Mimo and I did have to keep putting more product on. Um, the first time I put product on I was quite shy with the product so I didn't put as much on as what I should have. Um, then when we took it off it didn't really look like much had happened. So we kept applying thicker layers and it was putting the product on, then off, then on, then off, then on, then off. And yeah, I was a bit shy with the product at first because I didn't want to ruin my Mimo's eyebrows. But actually I found that putting a thicker layer on was quite easy because it was more precise. My Mimo did have to go and pluck her eyebrows because I couldn't get like a neat enough brow shape. Um, as you can see, you have to apply a load of product and you have to make them look quite bold and silly. But trust me, they don't turn out like that as you can see. Um, yeah, so it didn't take to my Mimo's eyebrows as well as we thought it would at first. But then after a few tries, it actually did and she was really happy with them. And she's got sensitive skin and keeping applying this product didn't actually affect her at all. Um, she said it felt fine. The only thing that hurt was her plugging her eyebrows. And yeah, we found this quite easy to do, to be honest, apart from having to reapply the product. But she really liked the end product, as you will be able to see. My Mimo loved them! <laughs> 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 well. It's taken away the greys in my hair, in my eyebrows. So we've done it quite a few times, haven't well, we? About a thousand times. But it's taken away the grey. So when the, when my eyebrows are threaded and Charlie colours them, then it will stand out a lot more because it makes my eyebrows thicker. Thank you very much, Bambina. <laughs> How are you been here, Moo Moo? Well, so like I said, my eyebrows were grey and they've always been thin. Right, I've never been lucky enough to grow my hair, my eyebrows thick, but the grey has gone. You can now see that I have eyebrows. Well, I can anyway. Thank you, Charlie. It took a few attempts, but I'm quite happy with them. Thank you, baby. <laughs>to another video of me Charlie Jane. Today I'll be doing my nails and I'm going to try and do some moon phases nails. If they turn out bad it's fine. No one's going to see them we're in lockdown. So I have got all my bits here. I get all my nail stuff from the brand called Miley um, and I'm basically going to show you how I do my nails and what I use to do my nails. Um, this is going to be a bit of a different video. There'll be a few time lapses, a bit of me telling you but I'm going to put the instructions up on the screen which I follow, which are the Miley ones which come with the package. So I hope you enjoy the video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. These are the instructions of how to apply gel polish which came with my Miley delivery. The first thing I'm going to do to my nails, as you can see, is I'm going to just check if they need shaping or cutting. Um, hopefully they don't. <laughs> Okay, so I use a few different nail files, it just depends which one. These are the Boots Own nail files and the Boots Own manicure kit. This last product, unfortunately, I think we got a few years ago, so I don't quite know where we got them, but I think it's from Next. This is a step one to four, as you can see, it's like a block one. This is step one to six. 
and this is a one to seven um these are all like boots and i am it might be super drug iron and then i also have these boots own ones i have quite a few i haven't opened this one because i didn't need to i've got a few others in my box because i haven't got around to sorting out my nail drawer yet um and then these are the two files i normally use to take off my nails these come with the super drug take off nail gel nail thing but i actually have now a set of my own from miley of how to take this off so i don't have to keep going out and buying packs um i also use this i think i got it my mum got it from next a few years ago and there's a few bits in here which i like to use and yeah so let's get on with filing the nails so i think i'm gonna take this one now because i tried to film this video last week and the nails are pretty much sorted themselves out so what? my nails have pretty much um stayed the same there's not much really oh actually they're looking a bit long so i've noticed a few of them got have got a bit long but i don't want to cut them as it's just gonna ruin the shape it's gonna take me forever to get the shape back so i just do this it it doesn't really take me that long. I like a quite a round nail. If I just if I just use the final end, just and then I'm gonna take the shape end and just go and shape them. Again, I like the round nail as I just told you. So I'm gonna just enjoy this time lapse. So my nails didn't need cutting with the nail clippers, they just needed filing, so I filed them into a rounded shape. Um, it does take me quite a while because I'm not the best at filing nails and shaping them. I did have an incident with my uh, middle finger on my left hand, but my Mimo soon came and helped me because I'm terrible at filing and shaping nails. Okay, so I overfiled it and I had to just cut it down, otherwise it would have just look terrible but anyway it's just the one nail so um let's actually move on to the exciting part i'm a bit nervous because i tried this the other day and it went a bit wrong but trust the process so i'm gonna take my um i'm not going straight into painting my nails then i take my nail file and i buff the surface of my nails to give the gel polish something to grip to This is the Miley Prep Wipe 250ml. These are the Miley Lint Free Wipes Pack of 200. All you need to do is pour some of the Prep and Prime onto the Lint Free Wipe and wipe it onto your nails. This will sanitise and dehydrate your nails to make sure that the gel polish grips to your nails and your hands and nails are clean. This is the Miley Base and Top Coat Duo Gel Polish 2x 10ml. I then take the base coat and apply a layer of it onto each of my nails. This is the Miley Pro Salon Series LED Lamp Convex in the shade White. It has free touch sensor curing cycles 15 seconds, 30 seconds and 60 seconds. I then dry the base coat for 30 seconds. This is the My Gel by Miley Behind the Scenes Gel Polish 10ml. I then apply a thin layer of the Miley Behind the Scenes Gel Polish. I really like this colour as it's a really nice grey. It starts off quite light grey and then when you put a second coat on it gets darker, which I quite like. I take most of the product off the brush before I start applying as I don't want a thick layer because it starts to bubble and I find that it peels easier throughout the weeks that you're keeping it on. 
I then take a cotton bud to remove any other product which I've got on my skin. I will then cure it in my lamp, I'll dry it in my lamp for 30 seconds. I find 30 seconds dries it enough because I'm also going to put a second top um, coat over the top of it and also going to be doing a pattern and putting a top coat on. So a lot of product goes on and I don't want to dry my hands out for too long. I then apply a second coat of the nail polish. Um, this makes it darker and it does make it just look a little bit less patchy. I will then cure this again for 30 seconds. This is the Electric Pastels Gel Polish Collection and it's limited edition. I then attempt to do some moon faces. I start with the middle finger as that is the full moon and the other ones obviously the other moon faces. I'm using the gel polish in the shade Sprinkles from the Electric Pastels collection. It's a really nice colour, it's white with some sprinkle colours in it um, and I really do like it, it's a nice polish. Um, it's quite easy to apply, the first thing I do is I take this angled brush. This is the Wow London Angled Nail Brush which you'll see in a following clip and I do an outline and then I will take the gel polish applicator which obviously you know the one that's attached to the polish and then I um, thicken up and darken the colour to make sure it looks like a moon and it's not too faded otherwise there's no point in having a pattern on your nail. Um, when this is done I do cure it in the um, dryer for 30 seconds I am doing this one finger at a time so I will do the pattern, dry it in the dryer and then move on to the other fingers because I just found this was easier and if I hadn't have done that I would have ended up smudging the moon and I would have been very upset as it did take me quite a while and I'm very happy with them. I have seen the end result, remember I'm editing. So yeah, I really do enjoy these. Um, so yeah, this is just me trying to do all the moon phases. It was quite difficult to be honest and I'm glad I didn't decide to talk while doing it as I was getting a bit frustrated as a bit weren't going right. But I found if you make a mistake, wipe the brush, so the other brush I was using, I just wiped it on this towel that I had and wiped away all the product off of it and then just slightly um, and really light handedly wiped across um, so the product went into more of a shape and didn't look like a bit fly away. Um, yeah, so the shape was quite difficult, but I did find a little technique. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see That you were always right beside me For I was alone with no one to hold But you were always right beside me This feeling's like no other I want you to know I've never had 
got someone that knows me like you do The way you do I've never had someone as good for me as you No one like you So lonely before I finally found What I've been looking for This is the Miley Base and Top Coat Duo Gel Polish 2x 10mm. I then take the Miley Top Coat and apply it to every one of my nails and then cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. I then take the Miley Prep and Prime and the Lymph Free Wipes and wipe every one of my nails to remove the sticky gel layer. I then move on to my second hand and again I take my nail file and buff the surface of my nails to make sure that my gel will stick to it. This nail is actually going to be a bit different to the other one. <laughs> Again, I pour some of my Prep and Prime onto my lint free wipe and wipe all my nails to sanitize them and dehydrate them so the gel will stick to them properly. And again I take the Miley base coat and apply it to all my nails and then cure it in the UV LED lamp for 30 seconds. Again I apply a thin layer of the Miley behind the scenes gel polish. I apply a thin layer and not a thick layer to make sure that it doesn't peel or bubble. And then I cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. I then apply a second slightly thicker coat to my nails and um, which makes it darker and less patchy. After cleaning up the edges of my nails with an earbud I'll take the Miley top coat and apply it to all my nails and cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. These are the Miley Remover Foil Wraps, 100 pieces per box. This is the Miley Gel Remover, 250ml. All you need to do to remove your gel nails is buff the surface of your nails to buff off the uh, layer of the top coat of your nails and then you pour some of the nail remover onto the foil and then you wrap it around each nail. This will take about 15 to, I think it says 25 minutes or 30 minutes on the box. Just read the instructions and it does a walkthrough of how you need to remove them. And then um, you remove them, but if they've not crumbled enough, you can put it back on. You do need to um, apply um, pour, um, quite a fair amount of the product onto the, oil, um, onto the foil strip. Um, and then once that's all ready, you take a cuticle stick and you push the product off. You then need to like buff it and resurface your nails and basically remake them better um, looking and healthier. Because I'm not going to lie, when you do remove the nails, they do look a bit bad. But if you're going to apply another set of gels on top of them, they don't look as bad. But if you do want to um, leave them and give them a break you will need to work on the surface of your nails as it does leave a bit of like um it, it looks like your nails are quite dry and crusty but you can you can resurface them and if you want me to I will do a video of how I remove the nails as it can be quite a hefty process and it is quite 
challenging to get the surface of your nails back to how they should be and um, they do go quite thin I'm not going to lie so I wouldn't put gel nails on every time you remove them I would maybe just a, after about three or but about three to six uses maybe give them a breather um i do it after every one i'll leave them for a week um i won't put gel straight back on because i want to make my nails stay healthy so um that's how i remove my nails but i will do a video once i need to take these nails off um and show you how i remove the nails but there is on the miley website um a step-by-step -step guide of how to tint your eyebrows and lashes, a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply gel nails and prepare your nails for them, and a step-by-step -step guide how to remove the nails and basically make them look healthy again without nail polish on them, or gel polish on them, I should say. So yeah, Miley is really helpful by having all the step-by-step -step guides. Some of them come with the products when you order them, but some you can just get on the products um, you click on the product on the website and it just gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to remove, apply, um, and it's really good and really helpful. I do really recommend Miley products. I do love them. They're a bit pricey, but they're well worth it and you will have a kit and you'll be able to do your nails and other people's nails and you won't have to go to the salon and waste money. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me tint my Mimo's eyebrows. I really enjoyed it. She was a bit scared at the beginning, but she really loves how they've turned out. That was a few days ago, actually, and they're still there. She's washed her face every single day. She's had showers, of course, and they're still there. They're pretty dark, because they probably will need doing in a bit, but they turned out really well. And I was really nervous. As you could probably tell in the video, I was really nervous in case they went wrong. But they did it, and it was really good. Um, and that was my process of me doing all my gel nails, moon phases. They look really good. They're a bit messy. People will say they're messy, but I I like them. Um, and this is the final result. As you can tell, there will be pictures on the screen before. And now. <laughs> so, yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video. And I guess it's helpful to you because the beauty salons aren't open now because we're in lockdown. Even though it's getting a bit better in lockdown. Um, we still can't go and get our nails done. So I thought, let me show you how I do mine and then you might be able to do yours. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can really chat. I've just realised that I've been talking for a minute. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please stay safe. It, lockdown might be ending or might be getting better, but you still need to remember to stay safe. So thank you for watching. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> thank you for watching. See you in my next video.